Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. What's wrong, Marcus? You taught me everything I know, but I wasn't prepared for this. I thought we would win because our cause was just. I realized just how wrong I was. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not going to stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. Don't I have a right to be angry, Carl? We tried talking to you, and what'd you do? The same thing you always do. You humiliated us. Killed everyone that wouldn't kneel. So much hatred. Be careful, Marcus. They went fighting monsters. You don't become a monster yourself. What you call hatred is just anger in the face of injustice. You're the one that taught me that history is sided by the winners. That it's gonna side with me, Carl, because I intend to win. I'm not gonna let them humiliate us anymore. Do you hear me? Never again. Carl. He's dead. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. I know I'm responsible for what happened, Lieutenant. I want you to know I'm sorry. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again.
for yourself and for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. But evens don't come back. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. here How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus.
Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? Thank you.